Good day to you. This is a unique content because not only stacking and my other regular contents I do in daily life. It also includes discovering the world of mathematics. So, I will be answering all the questions of math and scientific formulas in Battle of the Brains. This is just a part one. David Seldron was the host from 1992 to 2000. So, before we start this, I would like to single out one of my great math teachers, Sir Ryan J. Cristal, licensed professional teacher, because he motivated me to discover the world of mathematics. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy! The three sides of a triangular lot are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5. If its perimeter is 120 meters, what is its area in square meters? Once more, mathematics for 30 seconds. The three sides of a triangular lot are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now, if its perimeter is 120 meters, what is its area in square meters? It's mathematics, therefore, we'll give you 30 seconds to answer that problem. So we're picking it up from where we left off last week. And still on top is St. Stephen's with 1,600 points. Second place, Grace Christian, 1,450. And St. Mary's, 800. Let's have your answers, please. St. Stephen's. Blank. No answer again. St. Mary's. 600 square meters. And Grace Christian? 600 square meters. All right. The answer is 600 square meters. Very good. A math question. In a quiz, every correct answer gives the contestant 50 pesos. But he has to refund 30 pesos for every wrong answer. Jose answered 20 questions. If he won 520 pesos, how many questions did he answer correctly? In a quiz, every correct answer gives the contestant 50 pesos. Not here though, we give better prizes than that. But he has to refund 30 pesos for every wrong answer. Jose answered 20 questions. If he won 520 pesos, how many questions did he answer correctly? So just to make sure you heard me right, 50 pesos, the first one, 30 pesos, the second one, and 520 pesos, the third amount. That's 30 seconds for all of you. Question number five, halfway mark. One team here on stage will be 600,000 pesos in cash richer by tonight. Which one would it be? Let's first find out if their answers are correct. St. Stephen's? 14 answers. St. Mary's? 14. Okay. Grace Christian? 14 questions correctly. The answer is 14. Don't worry about that. If a first number is five times a second number, then one-eighth of the second is what percent of the first? Once more. If a first number is five times the second number, then one-eighth or one over eight of the second is what percent of the first? You have 30 seconds as usual to answer that math problem. It is the last question for the second round. After this, we will have the final and deciding round, the difficult round. And one of you here on stage, one team here on stage will be the grand champions for the high school division and take home 600,000 pesos in cash. If I'm not mistaken, that's 400,000 for the students and 200,000 for the coach and the school. So that's a lot of money. This is where you start. St. Stephen's. 160%. 160%. St. Mary's? 0.025%. 0.025%. Grace Christian? 2.5%. The correct answer is 2.5%. Grace Christian is correct. Woo! 
Mathematics. If cosine alpha is equal to sine 2 alpha, what is the measure of alpha in degrees? If cosine alpha is equal to 2 sine, rather, is equal to sine 2 alpha, make sure about that, sine 2 alpha, what is the measure of alpha in degrees? Time starts now, 30 seconds. Who will it be, Archie, Oliver, or Alfonso? Archie is from Don Bosco, Oliver is from PUP, and Alfonso is from UPLB. They are all vying for the pot of gold worth 500,000 pesos. One of them will take that home tonight. Answers up, please. Archie. Alpha is equal to 60 degrees. Oliver? 180 degrees. Alfonso? 30 degrees. Alfonso is correct, it's 30 degrees. <laughs> Mathematics for 30 seconds. What algebraic expression gives the cost of N shirts if four and a half dozen shirts cost P pesos? So the variables are N and P. What algebraic expression gives the cost of N shirts if four and a half dozen shirts cost P pesos? Give us the algebraic expression. This is still the easy round. 200 points for every correct answer. It's a tight race. This ought to go down the wire. There you have on your screens, students from PUP cheering on their own Oliver Tungol from PUP. Let's have your answers. N is equal to 4.5 times 12 times P. Judges, take note. Keep it up, um, Archie, keep it up. Oliver, let's see your answer. Uh, 2PN over 9. 2PN over 9. Alfonso? NP over 54. Only Alfonso is correct. NP over 54. Mathematics. P varies inversely as Q. Okay, P varies inversely as Q. That's P for uh, patok na patok and Q as in um, quail. Wala kasing Q sa Tagalog, di ba? The value of Q is two-thirds when the value of P is one over two. What is the value of Q when P is three? Once more, P varies inversely as Q. The value of Q is two over three when the value of P is 1 over 2. What is the value of Q when P is 3? Now, it doesn't really matter what those letters are. What's important is you get the value that I'm looking for. That's 30 seconds for math. The average round is where we're at right now. There you have them. These three contestants, by the way, are known for their math skill. Let's see if that skill will show right now. Archie. 2 is equal to 9. Oliver. 1 over 9. Alfonso. 1 9. Is Q over 9? 1 over 9. Just 1 over 9. Oliver and Alfonso are correct. Mathematics now. At a certain meeting, each person presents, or rather, each person present, each person who is present in the meeting, shakes hands just once with everyone else. Okay? All together, 1,225 handshakes were exchanged. How many people were present at the meeting? Once more. At a certain meeting, each person present shakes hands just once with everyone else. Okay? Altogether, 1,225 handshakes were exchanged. One, two, two, five. Now, how many people were present at the meeting? You have 30 seconds to solve for that. 500 points for every correct answer. The tide can change. Anytime now. 
This is the final round, if you just tuned in. And here's Archie's chance to answer. Go ahead. 50. Oliver? 125. Alfonso? 50 people. Now the question was how many people were present at the meeting? 50 or 50 people? Is, will be correct. The hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle is 12 centimeters. How long is each leg of the triangle? That's all. June. Uh, then is uh, 12. Uh, yes, go ahead. Before, uh, that is 12 square root of uh, 6 square root of 2. 6 square root of 2. Centimeter. All right, that's correct. All right, June. Next time, we have to warn you, June. You press the button. Give us an effort. Although you have take this down. The sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon is one thousand nine hundred eighty degrees. How many sides does a polygon have? Sakya. Thirteen. Correct. Thirteen is right. Let's go to science. Here goes. A hammer exerts a force of 2.0 times 10 to the fourth newtons on the head of a nail for 0.01 seconds. What is the magnitude of the impulse of the blow? Once more, a hammer exerts a force of 2.0 times 10 to the fourth newtons on the head of a nail for 0.01 seconds. What is the magnitude of the impulse of the blow? Remember to put your, um, well, the uh, units involved, okay? Don't forget that. Especially Grace Christian, because they forgot to put litters. And sayang, Grace Christian, dahil you would have been in the lead by then. But of course, that lead would have been erased anyway, because St. Stephen's was able to catch up. Of course, the... Uh, eyes are on the three contestants or the three teams here on stage. Win or lose, gentlemen, your schools, and so are we. We're all very proud of you. Let's see if your answer is St. Stephen's. Um, two times 10 to the second power kilogram meter per second. Well, we'll judges, take, um, take note of that. St. Mary's. 0.002 newtons per second. And Grace, question? 2.0 times 10 to the 6 newtons per second. I must admit, I'm not too good at this. Dr. Kriya Ken, could you help me out with this? And Dr. Ibe? Only St. Stephen's is correct. <laughs> the answer to that should have been 2.0 times 10 squared newton second. Or 2.0 times 10 squared kilogram meter per, per second. So it's...